Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Adobe Live. Hello. I'm your host, Christine Arth, and I'm here with Chris Blackstock. It is Illustration Week, so stick with us. We have some amazing stuff all week long. We've had uh, Leonard Peng this morning. He was on at 9.30 or 9 to 10.30. And then at 10.30, we had Lissy Marlin on with Kathleen Martin. Right now, we're live with Chris Blackstock, and he'll be doing some illustration for us. And then at 1.30, we'll be back with Emma Zhang and Kathleen Martin. So it's a really packed day. Awesome different illustration styles, a ton of great designers. Um, Chris is with us today. He is working on Big Jim and uh, some yes. deserters, crazy apocalyptic world. Yes. Um, but before we jump into that, I'm really excited to look at some of Chris's work because we didn't get a chance to look at your portfolio yesterday. Yeah. This but be you awesome. have some great stuff up on Behance, and I'd love to give people a background of you know where you're from, what mm -hmm. you're doing, and like some of your style. Definitely. So take us through, let's pick a project that you want to walk through or anything really. Um, well, I guess we can just go through the deserters really quick. Perfect, yeah. Yeah, I mean, um, so oh, I just, so cool. yeah, brief thing just basically says personal project I've been working on. Um, but oh, wow. mostly the idea of building a portfolio with uh, character design and uh, concepting uh, ideas. So Amazing. kind of just have all these these different characters and, and it kind of just gave me an excuse to just draw some really cool yeah <laughs> cool Monk. things and I yeah kind of different aliens and, and humans and humanoids and so cool everybody in chat's like oh my gosh <laughs> um, but uh, in this th in this kind of style too that I've been working in is it's integrating that kind of like comic book look but pushing the colors a little more and the, so and the values cool. and, and trying to integrate some more render details. So kind of having those really strong graphic that. elements, but also the some of that the texture and rendering. I love it. Their facial details are so cool. Yeah, guys, he's a cool one. That's he's a really desert, cool. desert thorn. Wow, so cool. So it's, you know, and a lot of this stuff, some is from photographic reference, some's just straight from Memory. My head, yeah. Wow. Like this, obviously, this guy didn't have much for. You're photographic. like, obviously, he doesn't exist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, maybe I hope it didn't come from photographic reference. It'd be terrifying. So funny. Yeah. This is so cool. I love his teeth. Yeah, this that's is insane. that's Packy the camel. Packy. Wow, this is a whole world. Incredible. Yeah, and that's the apex ebex. And so oh, that's and wow. so then I started trying to just come up with some yeah. different ways to kind of show how they're existing in this world. And that, that style is much more like painterly. Super cool. And just kind of eliminating the line and just really just using wow. value and color. Wow. This is incredible. Chat, definitely let us know what you think and ask Chris all of your burning questions. This is insane. Yeah, also, <laughs> I was starting to make a comic for it, but so that got curtailed. Uh, by work. <laughs> working on another comic, so. Yeah. But I had just kind of done some fun things so that I thought wonderful. would be cool to, to put on the profile. So. Oh my gosh. Well, I love it. That's 100% love. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> Yay! So cool. Well, today is a great show. We've got a chat and win, and we're giving away uh, a Moo Layflat Technology Notebook, which I've got right here. It's pretty amazing, and it's got some awesome blank pages in it, so you can do what you will. Sketch, draw, write, diary. Um, and then we also have daily submissions. So. We've got some great challenges this week. Uh, yesterday we awarded uh, Andre Catano for his amazing illustration and he got a year subscription of Creative Cloud. And today's awesome. challenge, if you go to the challenge tab, is uh, if you look at Lissy's illustration, there's a color palette and if you're inspired by that, Definitely submit your illustration work, and Chris and I will look at it later, as well as um, after this, Emma is also going to look at some. So you have a chance to win until 2.30 PST time today, and you can submit your artwork for uh, an amazing chance to win. Um, so Chris, tell us a little bit about what you did yesterday, okay. and what you're doing right now, and what yeah. you're going to do today. <laughs> Sounds good. Um, okay, so let's get rid of that. So that's where we ended yesterday. Let me see if I can pull up the sketch here. Um, that's with the sketch. So basically I was just, yesterday I was kind of, how do you go from the sketch into a final drawing? Mm -hmm. um, and I think it was kind of nice not refining it too much because it kind of allows you to make decisions on the fly and kind of 
as you're as you're uh, turning the forms and, and and doing the different line weights, you get a better idea of, of what it really should look like. And it's super. It's yeah. There's just there's you have to be a little more confident. And I think with digital, uh, it's really easy to just hit Command Z, Command Z, Command Z. And so to kind of s slightly pretend that it is on paper, it's ink on paper. It it makes your strokes a little bit better. And so, so cool. So obviously. Uh, I wasn't gonna have enough time to just do this live, so <laughs> I went ahead and finished doing the the line work um, for the rest of this. Um, still have to do the little thermal vents, but oh, I love those. <laughs> yeah. So as wow. of right now, that's what we got. Um, this is insane. And so had had him uh, the little the monster dude here uh, detailed out, and he's got a giant uh, stop sign. <laughs> Stuck in his head. That's how he. Amazing. That's saw how he his killed demise. him. <laughs> yeah. And then I and I remember we were talking about how that the hand coming forward, and so I thought it'd be cool to oh, where so cool. you could see what what he's eating now, mm -hmm. and and having this this as as a, a piece where you it, okay that's oh, wow. that's where it comes it's from. So it's so gross nice, and gory. I love it. <laughs> yeah. So that it integrates that hand in there, and makes it an important part of the narrative, and so that's what they're eating. That's what they're feeding on. That's so, amazing. Yeah, um, so Chat I, is loving this. Amazing works. Eric is so super nice. You've got a lot of congrats. And awesome. Thank you. Sweetness. Thank you. Yeah. People so, are into it, man. <laughs> yay. Um, so now, um, and I also I, I went ahead and and just blocked in. Uh, um, some flats for the colors, just because mm -hmm. that can be also kind of uh, boring and, and uh, take up some time. So I just thought I would get that Ooh. going. Um, so cool. And so, and this is, again, this is, um, it, it feels like very much like how you, when you go to print or <laughs> yeah. comic book style, it's like you're kind of laying, you're blocking out your colors. Yeah. And for this one, since it's basically gonna be a, a desktop and we're kind of, we're, we're grounding the characters, but we're also there's really not going to be much of a ground. We're kind of using that big white space in the back to kind of push so all cool. those graphic elements towards us. So cool. So I figured um, kind of what I'm going to be doing today is just still doing some coloring, some color separations for some of the different uh, details, and then going over how I use gradients to push those values, and then also just do some rendering with some shadow and highlights. Incredible. Well, chat's going wild. Um, this is delicious. They love the finger. <laughs> <laughs> it's so, so tasty. Yes, yeah, so tasty, exactly. Don't you point at me That's again. what Phil <laughs> Rybachov said. He's like, yummy finger. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Amazing. Well, Berto, Jordan, Santos, Phil, Arlie, Mansour, and Voodoo Val are here. Uh, we've got a bunch of new people. Everybody say hello out in chat, and don't forget to ask Chris your burning questions while he's Please. here. That's right. We've got his unlimited attention for the next 45 minutes. Yes, so, and so I'm gonna start with the monster because he's super fun. And usually once I have the, the color shape in there, I'll go ahead and lock that, lock the pixels on that. So oh, that, smart. <laughs> yeah, so when I go to color, it's not gonna go outside of that. Um, just makes it easier. And so cool. But yeah, let's go ahead and. Hey, Matthias, get these Andreas, eyes. Joshua, welcome. Color it in there. Oh, wow. Is that eye open? Oh, yeah, they're both. Oh, wow. Both open, got the, the pupil's head in different, this is so different cool. directions, so we know that uh, not much brain function happening there. <laughs> yeah. Hi, Brad. Hi, Jasmine. Jasmine's asking, are you a pen to paper first, then go into Photoshop kind of guy? So I used to be. Um, that was actually how I exclusively worked um, for a long time, because I was so traditional. Uh -huh. um, decided after a while that it was faster for me to go just digitally. Uh -huh. um, I think once I got a Cintiq, that's what really started me down that path. Oh, yeah. When it was just the Intuos, I was pretty good, but it just, it just made more sense for me to still do it on paper. And so, but now I've, I've really, I feel really comfortable doing it all digitally. Yeah. And I think as far as the sketching process, digital is great because you can scale, warp. Yeah. Delete. You can really, you know, you can sketch, you can get that sketch and that, that comp done really fast. And a pencil and paper, it's like you, you can get there, but but then you have to import it to digital. Yeah, <laughs> and, and, or it's like it, you can't be like, oh, I made that leg too small. Yeah, and it's like you can't just like <laughs> you gotta like I go back and redraw that thing. So and, true. So that's yeah. For me, I I, I really like working uh, just all digital. Um, I'm hoping 
some some like be working traditional again when mm -hmm. I get time. But as of right now, being a freelancer and, and this is pretty great though. I mean, yeah, it's it's I try to. It's a great process because it's working. You yeah, know? <laughs> and I also have a very limited space to work in my house, so it, it cuts down on mess and yeah, that kind of stuff completely. too. Completely. Yeah. Well, hey Brad, hey Ryan, hey Musa, welcome. Owen Foster's back. He's like, this looks amazing. Yeah, thank you. And Voodoo Val's loving that color purple. I agree. It's a really like cool, dusty purple. Yeah, and you know, it's kind of it, it pushes him back a little bit. Um, yeah. It's it's nice. It's it's a little bit muted, so it doesn't pop out too much because we really. He's he's a great character, but we really want Big Jim to be the focus of this uh, painting. So it kind of it, it allows him to kind of be a, a secondary or third read, which yeah. is, is nice. Brad Biltier is asking, can this process be effectively done with loosely sketchy styles? Um, what do you what do you mean by that? Clarify, Brad. Please clarify. Yeah. Maybe I'm not understanding it. Yeah, I'm not sure what he means by like, that either. Like the steps, like the process of like going sketch to... Maybe, like if you're doing it in a loose sketch and then importing it into flats. Yeah, like, I mean, if when I do more like painterly mm -hmm. style or even more sketchy style, like it's still kind of the same process for me. Um, yeah. It's just the, as far as this, um, the actual like tight line work, mm -hmm. I just, that step disappears. Got it. And I think at that point, I'll, I'll have kind of like a final sketch, but it'll move much quicker into value and color. Mm -hmm. And I'll probably do value, I'll probably get to that step quicker because it becomes a lot more important. It makes sense. When you have line work, it, it adds a, a really graphic element to it and it can actually take care of some problems that uh, without it, you're gonna have to make that up with, with value. And yeah and texture and, and highlights, so. You guys heard it here first. HF has a great question. He says, impressive work. Do you have any resources for beginners in illustration? Um, as far as like where to look. In the yeah, beginning. maybe for inspiration. <sighs> yeah, I mean, the, it's crazy now because, you know, you've got so many tutorials and it's things so online yeah. through YouTube that, I mean, it's really not a bad place to start anymore. And I think totally. a lot more uh, schools and, um, you know, the digital schools and stuff, like they've they've all got something for you to view or, or take yeah. a look at. Yeah, um, well even watching this, I find it really helpful to watch uh, designers and illustrators on Adobe Live just because you can hear their process. Right. And then you can also rewind it and watch it over and over and over again. Exactly, <laughs> so, exactly. Yeah, I was learning uh, some tricks in After Effects the other week just by doing that. I had to like pause and rewind a million times. <laughs> yeah, I mean, now that, like, now that I, I, I didn't know about this as much until now. And yeah. so it's, it is kind of crazy how much content is is on your guys' uh, oh, yeah, Creative Cloud tons. channel. And so yeah. it's really impressive. and. It's I, impressive. It's yeah. definitely something I wish I had um, when I started. Oh, me too. I, I feel like I'd know so much more. <laughs> yeah, um, I did. There was a period, uh, even after art school, where I uh, I really liked uh, some of the Nomen workshop stuff. Uh huh. But you know, cost, I don't know if I've heard of that. It's um, it's it does a lot of like uh, concept art, uh, oh. not just three D, but um, illustrated as well, and for a lot of video games and, and so fantasy cool. sci fi films. And oh, stuff. cool. Yeah. Um, but you know, it costs money and... Yeah, so it's, exactly, kind of, this so, is a great free resource. Yeah, and I think uh, I think if you just, if you Google it, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah. But um, yeah, also I think <laughs> connecting with other artists and, yeah. and seeking out other people that are like-minded, going on forums. Totally. There's a lot of great forums out there. Um, if you look around, I know even, I wasn't a big part of it, but I know a lot of people with, uh, you know, back in the day, deviant art and, mm -hmm. and those types of things that, you know, You'd be surprised how many people out there are willing to help you out and, yeah, uh, and I think just you to just learn. Gotta ask. Yeah, people people are down with learning. Yeah, so, um, people are pretty friendly. And it, it can be scary at first um, trying to learn a lot of this stuff on your yeah, own. Yeah, totally. So, I guess yeah. you only just make mistakes and learn from that. So it's yeah, good. and 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 you know, don't be afraid to reach out to artists as well. Even even people that you think might not uh, 
respond to you. Totally. It never hurts to 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 email them. Well, now you guys heard it. You can email Chris. Yeah. Everyone in chat's gonna email you now. They're <laughs> yeah. like, so Chris, can you help me? Don't expect a response <laughs> right away. You're like, so I met other people. Not yeah, me. not me. <laughs> I, not don't me. email like, me. Not me. I'm like, horrible. I will never I mean. answer emails. No, but it's, it's so true. Funny. I, I um, I'm, I'm actually. There's a lot of people that I've reached out to as well that. I was really impressed that they took the time to yeah <laughs> to pay attention and so and, good. So, uh, and then let's see, we've got a lot of questions out there. So if I didn't get your question now, please repeat it, and I will get it because chat's going fast. Um, Moose, Moose is asking, where do you get the idea for these characters? I think um, a lot of it is just all the stuff that I read that I'm influenced by. Um, I love um, kind of like old school uh, anime. Yeah. You know, like uh, Akira and Ninja Scroll. Ooh, cool. I, w I watched a lot of that stuff growing up. Um, I think just the hyper detailed illustration styles, and not only that, but then translate that into animation. Mm -hmm. uh, the Japanese are great at creating monsters, uh, and especially just the wild ones. But I mean, I think, uh, you know, growing up with like the, the 70s animated. Uh, Tolkien movies, oh, yeah, you know. Totally. I think, the I don't Lord know if of Disney the... was behind yeah. them. Or... I remember that The Hobbit had a whole animated series. Oh my it gosh, awesome. so cool. And I forgot who did the character design for that, but it almost reminded me of the stuff from like uh, the Thundercats cartoon. Yeah. Like this kind of like, um, which is actually probably pretty similar to how I'm doing some of these lines. Totally. A lot of organic lines with sharp edges. and. Yeah, I so, remember the Ewoks. They were pretty yeah. cool. Now that I'm looking at this guy, he kind of looks at like I one of the it. orcs from uh, <laughs> Lord it's of the super Rings, cool. that animated series. Yeah. So I, I think that's a lot of comics. Uh, yeah, Japanese Jordan animation. totally agrees. She's like, I love Akira. Amazing, one of the first anime movies she saw. And then yeah. she loves your hat. So oh, good you. hat today. Thank you. That's yes. right. It was, uh, <laughs> I almost, uh, the, the hotel's, um, Doing maintenance, uh -huh. and so there was like a cutoff time for water. For showering, you're <laughs> yeah. like, ah, ah. oh, I got five minutes. <laughs> so I didn't, I didn't know wash my hair. So, so I got, funny. Yeah, I had to throw the hat on. <laughs> yeah, uh, Kfuz is saying the color and shading looks really nice. I Thank totally you. agree. Yeah, and it's, it's beautiful. It's funny because I. It's a beautiful monster. <laughs> it really yeah, is. Yeah, I always feel like I, d I never know what I'm doing when I'm coloring. I just. Uh, oh, it's so I, nice. Yeah, I think I just it's something I've. It's kind of becoming like an organic. It's natural intuition, thing. yeah. Yeah, I, it's hard. Good intuition, but it's probably based on all of your years of doing it. Yeah, and you kind of just start to learn what makes sense and what doesn't. Yeah. And I'm still learning all the time. I mean, there's. I'll look back at stuff and be like, what am I thinking? <laughs> so um, it's exciting, man. That's why I love art. Is you really you never stop learning. Yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty awesome. Harkaranover is asking where you got the glove. Um, Amazon. Amazon. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think I looked up, there's, there's several different ones. Um, it's, my hands are so sweaty too. I actually, I, I have multiple gloves at home. Oh, that's awesome. So I'd have to switch them out as I draw <laughs> because like, I start to get <laughs> moisture on my screen. It's bad. It's bad. My nose is probably sweaty. <laughs> no one can tell. Don't I worry. I know. It's good. Don't, don't, like, don't no really close ups. Sweaty. No close ups. <laughs> Uh, Fabian says it's amazing illustration. Olivier, thank you, thank Olivier you. says hello. Hello, hello. And uh, yes. So now we're gonna let's take a quick look here. And okay. then Mensauer is asking, is Photoshop mainly the program that you use? Um, for the most part, anytime I'm doing color painting, mm -hmm. I'll usually use Photoshop. Um, I also do also use Clip Studio um, mm -hmm. for some stuff. Um, it's Usually it's got like a, a it's a smaller um, like the 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 program itself is less intensive. Yeah. So if I'm on like a computer that can't really handle all this stuff, it's like sometimes I'll switch for that for doing line work and stuff. But mostly when it comes to painting, I would say the majority of my professional work it's all Photoshop. Photoshop. Nice. It's, it's a great all-in-one program. I've been using it forever. So yeah. You're like it's my go-to. It's my go-to. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, there's other things out there, but this is usually what I use. And then Tom Sherrill is asking, have you ever used a clipping layer for each of the different colors, like the teeth, the eyes, etc.? Using different layers for each one. Uh huh. Um, yeah. Sometimes I do. It, for the most part, like you don't really need to. Like it's almost oh, like for me, it almost takes me out of it. Um, but I guess it depends on how much detail I'm doing on them. But Ooh. I also do like, um, I remember watching a thing, 
What uh, are you doing right now? Okay, so I'm, <laughs> yeah, so I'm going. It's like I gotta, I, we gotta know this in the moment. This yeah. is insane. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go. I'm just going and um, lassoing this arm really quick. Because what I'm gonna do is use a gradient to push it back oh. behind the head. And it's something I've been doing more recently. Instead of doing all this rendering, it's kind of using gradients to do nice. stuff. And it, it keeps it, I, I really like that graphic feel. So and, cool, well and, yeah, and then it keeps it all in the same file too, right? Right, and so it's, it's kind of all this simple layer uh, of color that it starts out as kind of gets more and more complex. So cool. And then when I go to start rendering, usually what I do is I'll start with a transparent shadow layer. So it'll it'll manipulate that gradient as you go over it without you having to like constantly switch oh. colors. And so it's kind of, it's almost like a animation, like cell, wow. like cell animation style. Where That's you just, so, so cool. I don't think I've ever seen that done. That's amazing. So cool. We'll go ahead and, so I, as far as color picking too, like there's not like a real science to it. I mean, obviously the more you understand about color, the easier it'll be. Um, 100%. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I still feel like I'm just like, I don't know. I'm just, I think we're all still learning all the time. <laughs> yeah, I'm just like, does that look good? Okay, yeah. that looks good. Um, sometimes what I'll do, um, like if I want to push it back, I'll go ahead and just pull up the color picker. Mm -hmm. And I'll just go to the cyan and I'll just, you know, try to kind of start adding it to it and see and like, okay, I like that. Cool. And then it's like, maybe I want a little more value push. So I'll kind of just go there, like, okay, let's see what that looks. And then I'll pull up the, uh, gradient tool, it's already got on the transparency, so it's gonna add color to one end and it's gonna be transparent on the other, which nice. is exactly what I want. I wanna keep the purple there and kind of just put it in there. Ooh, like, yeah. Okay, cool, right? Like, super. it's pushed it back, it's really got this like, okay, now his face is defined, it's, mm -hmm. it's framing his face. And what that's gonna allow us to do is, not only are we gonna come up to that, that hand there, now we can kind of take that hand and we can kind of add a little more warmth there with the colors, which is kind of seen what I've done with the finger yeah. here. And it'll really kind of give this feeling of his arm. Yeah, like wrapping out here around. And coming around. Oh, yeah, so, so cool. These are great tips. This is yeah. awesome. Yeah, well, the, the, the coolest thing about digital is gradients. Yeah, because right? trying to do a gradient oh, man. traditionally was like it's Marker the most indication. painful huh. process ever. I mean, the best way you can do it is obviously either with airbrush mm -hmm. or uh, doing silk screening where you're, you're doing the blend with the colors. Totally. But it is a craft to get perfect gradients 100%. traditionally. So I think using gradients digitally, I love it. There's something so cool about it. Um, yes. So I try to keep as many as I can. Sammy's like, using the lasso tool to target only his arm is genius. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's like, truth. Well, and once, you, and once you lock out that layer too, you, can, you don't have to be you know, it's like I, I, I went outside the lines. As mm -hmm. long as it's capturing that shape, yeah. you're, you're good. So, but we can kind of do that same thing. So let's go ahead and do that same thing so over good. here. And this time we're just going to kind of do each finger. Ooh. And so we've already got a color there that we picked out. And once you pick, if you pick that color and then click on your gradient, it's going to automatically add that color to mm -hmm. your, your gradient. So that's already set up, which is great. Yeah. And so we can just go ahead and you oh, kind of just so cool. add it there. And all of a sudden you're like, okay, oh, yeah. now it's starting to. Yeah, that's a tip of a finger in his little cauldron. <laughs> yeah, it's starting to come forward. And... Robert Sullivan's asking, is there a way to rotate the view in Photoshop without a touch screen? Yes, there is. Yeah. Shift R. Is it shift? I just press R. Yeah. Shift, oh. Did I just press oh. R. Do you have to press shift? I never pressed. Well, it's you shift. shift R and then you can drag. I know, it, yeah, I know. And if you hold shift while rotating, yeah, um, it'll, it does it by, uh, you know, I think it's every self -correct. 15 yeah. degrees or 20 degrees. Like it, so. <laughs> right, because we were talking about getting it back in place. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we're like, oh man, that's the worst. <laughs> right, right. So, but yeah, obviously the last of two, you're just going to hold shift to, yeah. to add. If you want to erase any of that, you just uh, hold option. This is on Mac. Hold option and, and it'll uh, it'll delete that part. Yeah, totally. So. Um, Moose is asking about the stop sign in this world. Okay, so yeah, I mean, it's a clear sign that like this world is Earth. Yeah. You know, like he's, he's from planet Earth. Um, you know, he was a pilot in the military. 
some sort, you know, but that, yeah, this is obviously an element I added that's grounding us. I kind of like that Planet too. Yeah, yeah, you're like, oh, it's, it's like it could be apocalyptic future, but there's still yeah, some remnants of the past. Yeah, I think because I was basing this character off my grandfather, um, you know, he was a pilot in, in the military, you know, in the Air Force. So yeah. I, I think that I kind of made a conscious decision to be like, all right. It's Earth. This is here. It's here. Yeah. And yeah. He just, this, you know, and I'll go and I'm going to add like rust and decay yeah. to that at some point. So it's. I love it because there's bullet holes in it too. Yeah. That's it's like it's, cool. it's being eaten away. It's yeah. not, you know. So. Yeah. So good. Um, Dama's asking, how many layers do you have open? <laughs> You're like, see. so many. I don't know. Right. And then you guys have three more minutes until chat and win countdown. So get excited. There's a well, chance to win a Moon Notebook. Oh, man. You Ask me how many layers I have. <laughs> You're like, do I have to count them, Dama? Yeah, let's say one, <laughs> two, three, four, five, six. Seven, You're like, eight, a lot, nine, a lot. Ten, Eleven, 12 layers. 12 layers, Dama. 12 layers. That was just for you. <laughs> and then Sammy's asking if you're going to add gradient to the monster's head. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm, get, I'm getting there. Mm hmm. So it popped out the hand a little bit. That's good. Yeah. Yes. The, the head, we're going to definitely gonna do some stuff. And then um, Mansur asks, are, do you just use brush or more tools? And about sketch, did you draw it or take it from people? As in, like, were people your inspiration or was this one from memory? Um, I would say most of this was just um, without reference. Cool. Um, I, that's not saying that I don't usually, I usually do use reference. Yeah. Um, well, yesterday you showed a photo of yourself sitting in that position right, just and to I use, give an idea, even though it didn't pertain to this. Yeah, like I. I initially just did it, and then I was like, you know, it's probably good for me to have some reference to show like mm -hmm. my normal process, and it kind of gave me it, it made sure that the decisions I made were right, yeah, and that my you know my proportions were good, and I, I kind of like that character. So it's always great to have reference, yeah, and even the folding of the pants and like where they were pleating, yeah, like even yeah. if you don't use it necessarily, it's just it's good to have to just mm -hmm. like com you know compare and contrast. For <laughs> People are asking the funniest questions. Josh was like, "Is his finger dark meat or white meat?" He's like, "I'm guessing it's dark meat." It's probably dark. <laughs> yeah, it's probably dark. Yeah, meat. he's a monster. Yeah. He's like a big turkey leg. <laughs> 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 this is great. Um, Abhinandan, all you have to do to win the notebook is be in chat, which you are, and chat to win. So when you see fireworks come up on screen, we're gonna ask a question and you guys are gonna chat and then a bot will randomly choose a winner. Yay. Pretty awesome. So now I'm just kind of doing that same lasso trick. Ooh, yeah. Uh, to kind of pop out his brow line. So cool. And that'll kind of, and then and on the brow line, I think it's gonna be more, it's gonna be a little bit of a, a lighter, duller color. Um, because I figure it's kind of somewhere where he probably rubs, you know, mm -hmm. it's something that oh, makes contact yeah. with things just because it's, it's protruding a little bit. Right, so it's like highlights or something. <laughs> yeah. So I love see. that. We'll kind of maybe saturate it. Maybe just saturate it a little bit more. This let's is see. super cool. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. Harkonover, we are winning a Moo notebook. Lay, fat, lay flat notebook. Just kind of go in there. Ooh, um, that's cool. Yeah. And you kind of, this is, um, the uh, sphere is highlighted up oh, here. Oh, yeah. So you've got the different ones. You know, you've got the uh, just straight across the sphere. This one is like uh, the gradient starts out from the middle and extends out, and you got the one that's the clockwise. So cool. But this one kind of allows you to pick little areas if you wanted, and especially with something like this. Yeah, to give uh, it a little bit more undulation. Yeah, that's exactly. cool. So awesome. We'll that. Uh, William Banks says, "Nice work." Thank you. Everybody is loving this. Thank you know, you, it's so you. cool. Yeah, this is fun. I mean, like I said, this is really fun for me to kind of, it's it's good to do this even if, you know, even if you're not on a live stream, like totally. it's really great to kind of force yourself to break down your process. Yes. All right, um, you guys, that is countdown. It's chat and win time. Get excited, name your favorite monster. All right. All right, if you guys are out there, we have a Moo notebook for a lovely winner. This is lay flat technology, so the binding is specially prepared so that no matter what page you're on, you can lay it flat and draw. It's super nice, it's got lines, it's got an inside section for all of your illustrations. Thank you, Moo.
Yeah. Yeah. Oh, look, Dracula, vampires, slimy dragons, <laughs> oh, Frankenstein. Everybody loves monsters. This is so great. They should. Yeah. Oh, T Rex, Swamp Thing. <laughs> What's your favorite monster? Ooh, that's a good one. I yeah, mean, that's I, tough. I, I, I'm a big fan of uh, Dracula. Really? Oh my god, I oh, love, man. I love Bram Stoker's Dracula. Even the so creepy. Even that great film with <laughs> Keanu Reeves at the helm. <laughs> Thank God for Gary Oldman. I love, oh yeah, Gary Oldman's <laughs> oh great. Oh my God, he's so good He's so out. good, so, yeah, so that's, good. That's I kind of like like Voldemort. Uh, he's a good. And Snipe and all of them. They're, Ralph they're so Fiennes. evil. Yeah, yeah Ralph I mean, Fiennes is oh great. Oh my gosh, yeah. I know. know, so versatile, right? Oh my God, I love him. <laughs> all right, we've got a winner. You want to say our winner? <laughs> Valder Leonardo Scarbosa. Nice, you won this beautiful right. moon notebook. And yes, congratulations. That is a good name pronunciation. Yes, a lot of Yay. people love Dracula too. So awesome. congrats, if you guys didn't win, don't worry, Moo is super awesome and they always give us prizes. So visit moo.com backslash Adobe Live for a discount on your order and to browse limited edition holiday products. So check it out. Awesome. Yes. All right, and we're back to the monster. We're back to the monster, okay. <laughs> we're like, oh gosh, we were minutes without it. Yeah. <laughs> What's it up to? <laughs> okay, so now so maybe cool. let's go into the nose here and you can kind of do stuff with the lasso. That it, Ooh, yeah. Just like, you know, doing some weird shapes and stuff. I feel like you can be pretty loose with it. it doesn't, That's cool, because you're illustrating with the lasso as well. Yeah, it's just, it's, it's kind of fun that way. You can kind of create some little loops in there. Yeah. Some things, a little, maybe even some extra. Like, I don't even know why. That's a great tip. It looks cool. Yeah, it looks cool. I don't think there's like... any reason why this would look like this on him, but it'll probably end up looking cool. So. It'll look cool. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Um, and so this too, I'm going to kind of probably <laughs> match the gums a little bit just because these are kind of like yeah. moving into his like internal workings here. Right, like nose cavity. Yeah, maybe just uh, Julia it. Zeiger says, yeah, work that lasso. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, <"Whoosh." laughs> so It kind of makes his nose look runny too, which is cool. Yeah. <laughs> so let's just, we don't want to get, let's see if we can just kind of get it out there. Let's see a little bit more. Nice. There we go. So cool. And then some of this stuff too will get fixed once I start doing the rendering on this guy. Yeah. So we'll just get his little ear here. So good. All right, guys, the challenge clock is up. So don't forget, you have about 25 minutes to submit your challenge for today. It is to take a look at Lissy's color palette from her illustration on the challenge tab and use those values or something similar to create an illustration of your own you'll have the chance to win a subscription for a year of Creative Cloud. Super awesome. That is awesome. Yeah. I wish I had that earlier. <laughs> yeah, right? You're like, I wish I had that every day. It's so nice. <laughs> yeah, um, and then Harkar Nerver is asking, he said, Chris, did you know about the hue trick? He's like, you should try it with your gradients. Uh, no, please explain to me. Explain, I love Har learning. Yeah. Explain to us. I am a caveman with Photoshop. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, Paul's asking, do you ever use the command U to change the color of your selection? Um, no, I don't. But again, what, how do you were like, tell us. Yeah, please. That tell us more. Command U. Yeah, command U. Yeah, command U. I'm going to, yeah, I'll do that right now. So you see in the selection. Oh, oh, there you go. Boom. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> You're like, I take forever doing everything. Right? See, this I just need, I need just, a live chat as I paint. He totally to tell just me, like gained gosh, a few hours this year thanks. by learning that. Yeah, <laughs> you just saved me a lot yeah. of Isn't effort. that what Paco said? He's like, it saves you maybe like, I don't know, two weeks of time over oh a year. Oh my gosh, dude, my mind is gonna <laughs> yeah, be. Yeah, commands. Yeah, please teach me everything. Teach us more I'm shortcuts. A, I'm a dumb dumb when it comes to Photoshop. <laughs> Well, you're doing pretty good, I so you know what I mean? Like, yeah, 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 you're teaching right. us stuff. This is a give and take relationship oh with gosh. chat, you know? Yeah. Chat teaches and they also learn. Yes, thank <laughs> you. That's that's an awesome tip. Yeah, that is awesome. Okay. You're like, I like that command you thing. <laughs> so cool. All right, we're gonna add some uh, grime here, just a little bit. Let's see, let's maybe add a little more. Oh, Mansara is asking, do you ever have nightmares of things that you draw? <laughs> Um, I have nightmares no matter what, so I don't, <laughs> I don't have to draw it to dream of it, that's for sure. That's so funny. Yeah, I think uh, I, I watched a lot of horror movies when I was very young because oh, I grew yeah? up with a lot of boys that were older than me. Mm -hmm. 
So I think my first, I remember my first horror movie was when I was two at my grandmother's house. What? Yes. So young, what was it? Uh, I think it was Boogeyman, I think it was Ooh, called. I can never remember what it was so called, scary. but I think it was Boogeyman. Um, I just remember people rising up out of a cemetery. Uh, and uh. So I think early on, uh, kind of started me on a, a darker, yeah. Darker path. Yeah, I remember seeing Freddy Krueger as oh a little gosh. kid and being like, "Oh my god!" It, watching it now, it's hilarious. I know. But back it's, then, it, it was, was pretty terrifying. bad. It was terrifying. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty harsh. Okay. Mm -hmm. so I'm kind of doing some different stuff on the teeth. This is so cool to see the teeth get all gross. Yeah. They look so real. I think my dog's teeth look like that. Yeah, and a lot of this too, it's like, we're just kind of laying out the, the basis for, you know, obviously like you could go in and really mm -hmm. detail those. And, but for right now, we're just kind of, so we're cool. slowly building these values that we want to paint on top of. Um, so, so wild. He's, he's mostly, we're probably going to go ahead and tackle his back and the top of his head and just probably slightly alter those colors a little bit. Nice. I like all his little like warty skin. Yeah. It's cool. It's, it's kind of just fun details. Yeah. That just, you know, it just makes it more interesting. Gives It makes it a little more fun for me to, to draw. Yes. Hugo, if you're looking for the challenge, go to the right of the screen and there's a challenge tab and you can get all the information there for what is due and when. And don't worry if you don't have time to submit it during this session. You can have until 2.30 p.m. today, PST time. Okay. Do, 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 do. And so probably what I'll do is take some more of this blue. Nice. And, um, oh wait, oops, let's see. I want to, and I'll kind of do it from off screen. Uh huh. So, because if I do it here, it's going to be too much. Like I, I don't want that much. Um, yeah. Because I don't want it to be the same. Right. As right. that arm. So if I kind of come from wherever here, kind of come Smart. down on it, I can kind of slowly get that in there. And like just. Nice. It's a nice detail because then it helps to connect to the arm. Yeah. I yeah. Might just do a little bit more. But there we Ooh, go. Ooh, that looks so good. And so that kind of just helps. Yeah. It kind of that's kind of what so his body's cool, yeah. you know fading into and. So yeah, his good. body's a darker purple, I like that. Yeah. He's obviously losing blood because he's getting yeah. a little bit pale in his fingers yeah. and face. Yeah. He might have been there a while. <laughs> he's like, yeah, they're eating my finger. <laughs> um, and so I think next we'll go ahead and do those fingernails. I'm probably gonna, just gonna do them similar to the teeth, almost like they're Ooh, yeah, maybe the gross. same, same uh, made out <laughs> of the like, same yeah, thing. I'm like, yeah, they're gross. Yeah, oh, that's right. this that's is cool. so fun. I love how gross it is. Yeah, right? gross things are fun. Gross things are fun. So, yeah. um, David Samuel's asking, what size is the illustration that you're designing? Um, I want to say it's 6400 by 3600 pixels because I just basically took the kind of like standard widescreen mm -hmm. um, and then just doubled, doubled it, it so nice. that I can. If I need to shrink it down, I can, but yeah. this kind of allows me to get more detail in and have a uh, higher, higher pixels. So cool. Um, Ooh, look at all those little nail shards. Yeah. <laughs> that was so cool. So get in there and just. He's like, here you go, bird. And it's funny, I see a lot of people um, just watching tutorials and other things that will lasso in their color. Uh huh. I really like scribbling it in. Yeah. And I, I know there's better ways to do it, um, but for me it's almost cathartic. Oh, I totally agree. There's something about yeah. just kind of scribbling and, and I don't know if it reminds me of when I was little with crayons 100%, or something, but yeah. yeah, I really, I kind of enjoy it because I've... <laughs> it made me think of that earlier when you were drawing and you had the black and white lines. I'm like, how cool is it that you create your own books to draw in? <laughs> Yeah. You know, like oh not only gosh. are you creating the illustrations, then you get to have the fun of coloring them in yourself. It's, uh, you know, it's really funny. <gasps> and one thing you'll you'll come across, um, just if, if you're doing anything with education or even any, just other artists and teachers, there's always going to be people that say, you know, are going to tell you what you're doing is maybe not how you should do it, right. or it's not the best way, or they're going to try to convince you that you know the traditional way or this way is better. Uh huh. Um, you know, one of my uh, old illustration teachers, I won't name him, but I remember he used to always tell me that uh, I should stop doing it that way because it just, he's just like, it's just like you're coloring a, col like a, a coloring book. Yeah. And I was you're like, like, I know. I was like, yeah, 
this, <laughs> You're like, it's, it's fun. awesome. <laughs> this is the funnest totally. I've ever had. Like, I was thinking the same thing. I'm this like, is great. How fun is that? Like, that's your profession. And, yeah, and, and it's and it's funny because I've you know I've kind of taken that that's that good. style and it's it's meditation. Yeah, and I've made you know? it work for me. And it's, yeah, but that's you kind of you have to. You have to be confident in what you're doing, um, oh, especially if you really like what you're doing so and, you're, cool. and you enjoy it and other people are enjoying it. Yeah. There's always going to be people telling you that you're not doing it right. It's and also really, um, really satisfying to watch you color in the certain areas because it's kind of like, you know, when someone's chopping something, yeah. it's like they finish chopping it. You're like, <gasps> yeah, I, I'm a little OCD sometimes with coloring in the I lines. Love it. Yeah. I think when I do painterly stuff, it, it, it allows me to. This is great. Not be as, as uh, anal about this. It's super fun. But there's something great about like, oh, okay, get rid of that. Yes. Yeah, Alex Jean says that's really good advice. Thank you. Awesome, so, awesome. Yeah. yeah, it's something I definitely like art school. Oh, thanks, Anita. She says, we're pretty awesome. You're answering questions and, and giving answers and superb, so. Thank you. Yeah, Anita. Sweet. Let's see. Maybe the soup. Soup. Maybe the soup is <laughs> fingernail even soup. Yeah, even though it's purple, like maybe it's like super gross in there. Maybe this it's is like awesome. Like this green Ooh, weird. yeah. Let's see. Let's, we got the stove set up here. There you go. I love it. Maybe it's some kind of weird. <laughs> He's like, it's toxic. Yeah, you know, well, green and purple. It's like your yeah. classic. Classic toxic months. Halloween colors. Yeah. Well, that's, that's fun. Let's just do that. Yeah, add some brighter yellow bubbles in there. Yeah. Perfect. So fun. Okay, what do we got so far? Uh, you know, save it. Oh, yeah, save, save it. Nice. It. Woohoo, we're doing it. You guys have about 17 minutes to submit your challenges, so I want to get those in there. I'm excited to see what you guys illustrate. Plus, you get a chance to have Chris take a look and give you some critiques. So that's pretty yeah. awesome. It's exciting. Yeah. Okay, I think there's one more thing I want to do on Mr. Monster here. Just kind of around his mouth. We'll go ahead and just add some different, a slightly different color. I love that tongue color. Oops. It's so cool. Yes. I, well, I, it's funny. My wife's always like, you use all the same colors. <laughs> I love magentas. Uh, Voodoo Val is really into green. purples too, so yeah. like she's dying about this. She's loving this color yeah. palette. <laughs> I would never wear any of these colors. It look That's horrible. That's why you like design <laughs> with but them. Yeah, yeah, totally. There's something like I like things when they look like hard shell candy. Mm -hmm. Like there's there's something that's that yes. kind of I don't know what it is, but it really Yeah, it's like out of this world color. Yeah. Like that it, doesn't exist in real life. Yeah, there's something really exciting about yeah. it. Let's see. Okay. Totally. <laughs> Voodoo Val, someone says purple? <laughs> huh? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Uh, Aaron, yesterday Andre Catano won for the challenge. Um, he had an amazing submission that you can see on Behance. Awesome. Yeah, check it out. It's a robo cat kind of scaring away a bunch yeah, of dogs. I don't know if I saw that one. That's it was awesome. really cool. <laughs> let's see here. All right. Let's again just kind of use that. Let's just, I'm just going to kind of go in there and. Just pop it out just a little bit. So Just fun. like it's, you know, it's turning. Yeah. That form is turning into his mouth. And you know, it's got a little bit different colors there. So cool. Ah, oh, I love that. Yeah, it just kind of helps it a little bit. OK. Yeah, all those small details really make everything come to life and feel so much more dimensional. Right, right. So um, let's see, how much, what, what time we go? Okay. Oh yeah, we've got about 15 minutes until we check out some submissions, and then we'll probably have 20 after that. Okay, cool. Um, maybe I'll just do a little bit on the backpack here, and Ooh, then yeah. uh, probably just hop into doing some shading and highlighting that I'll go, I'll finish between now and, and the next session. So cool. But just to kind of show you guys, you know, I'm just gonna do that right now, just because yeah. it'll be fun to kind of just show you guys what, what that looks like. So I'll go ahead and create a new layer. Um, I'll just label it shadow. Nice. Um, I like that. Smart labeling. <laughs> You're like, this one's shadow because, you yeah, know, it's shadow. <laughs> that's going to sit. I'm going to pull it out of that color group. But that's going to sit on top of everything. Mm -hmm. um, usually, I'll just usually start it at like 40% around there or something. Um, nice. If I want to go like retro style, 
I'll usually just make it black because it kind of it, it harkens back to the print, you know, yeah. and the kind of like that CMYK. So adding that black to everything, it kind of ends up in there. It, Super cool, yeah. Yeah, so it's it's got it's definitely got an old it's school a vibe, comic style to it. Yeah, so we can go ahead and do that. And the cool thing is, is that now that it's on, it's going to be on its own layer. Uh huh. If I want to add gradients to that, or if I want to kind of cool some parts, warm so some parts, cool. you can easily select it and do that. You could change the world. Yeah. Yeah. So it's it's kind of a I, I like doing it that way, and uh, especially it works really well with this kind of like more graphic mm -hmm. style. I can't wait. This is gonna be so cool. So Paul Alvarez is asking, what are your plans for tomorrow's stream? So I'm gonna get I'm gonna do all the a lot of the value work. Mm -hmm. um, from now until tomorrow mm -hmm. and get most of that prepped. And then I was thinking tomorrow, um, it'll be mostly just how like how you go in and, and do fine details Ooh, cool. and where you put those and kind of finding ways to, you wanna limit that because you want you just want certain parts to pop. And then also bringing in photographic textures. Oh, and cool. using that, not just a, not in like a crutch, but using that um, as a way to kind of enhance uh, some of your elements I'm and excited. learning how to kind of paint on top of those textures to really yeah. make things pop. Mixed so. media. That's yeah, super that's cool. cool. I mean, it's yeah. digital, baby. Let's, yeah, right. Yeah, like, I do what I want. Yeah. Let's flex. <laughs> yeah. So. Well, I like that because in some of the images that you had in the deserters, there was like a texture to the background, which was, right. it, it felt like very different than anything I've ever seen for yeah. like a comic style illustration. It was like a hybrid. Yeah, so that that uh, floral pattern is actually from uh, an old children's book. How oh, cool. Um, that I found at Goodwill in Berkeley and I just, I mean, it's, I think it's from like the early 1900s. I just loved it. So and cool. so there was something, I just wanted some kind of connecting element that was gonna go with all these characters. Yeah. And so I ended up using that, not only as the background, but then I would like uh, use an overlay and kind of superimpose it on part of the clothing and stuff to kind of. It's super cool. So yeah, that's that was pretty much the idea behind that. And yeah, it's a really nice way to connect your subjects that might have very different uh, stories behind them. Exactly, It kind of it, it's this kind of unifying element that mm -hmm. kind of puts them all in that same group. How cool. So yeah, I mean, you can kind of see what I'm doing. I'm just, it's it's very much like cell shading. Um, yeah. But what it's allowing to happen is that because they're, they are gradients, it it changes, that sh that shade changes mm -hmm. with the color. So it, this is gonna be super cool. Yeah, so that's, that's really fun. I love it. Wow. You guys have about 10 minutes to work on your submissions and get those in for Chris to take a look at. Uh, I'm excited to see what everybody does, especially it's such a nice color palette. Yeah, I didn't see the color. It's oh, that's, big. yeah, it yeah. is nice. Little reds and turquoises and, and who is that? Who is that based off of? Um, Lissy did uh, an illustration that we're using as reference for color yeah. palette. Yeah, it's super She's cool. She's really good with color. Yeah, it's Ask really. her more about color. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I do monster color. <laughs> yeah, I, well it's funny, I think, uh, especially in art school, I kind of realized like I'm much more of a, a draftsman. Like I really like doing uh, technical. Oh, I like that. Detailed work and Color's always been a real struggle for me. Um, yeah. And so it's something that I've just kind of learned like how to make it work for myself or things that I know work. Yeah. And so. Um, I'm with you. I have to search in nature quite a bit to like find natural color palettes that complement each other. Yeah. Yeah. I think, um, I think l referencing other people's work that you really admire mm -hmm. is awesome. Totally. Um, yeah. Cause you know, it's like, if you see a color palette that you really love, Totally. You should not be afraid to pull from that. Exactly. I mean, that's that's I how you're gonna learn, and, and it'll, the more you do that, the more you'll understand why yeah, it works. Combinations. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So that's great advice. Usually, uh, if I get stuck or if I'm not really sure what I want to do, I'll go ahead and do that and look look at some stuff that I really love and be like, okay. Yeah. This is what I'm gonna, you know. You're like, this, this makes gonna, sense. You're like, yeah, I got these this. are the color combinations <laughs> I'm looking at. And yeah. These are, these are cool. Yeah. Oh, hey, Joel, welcome. He's from Ontario, Canada. Yeah, where are you yeah. guys all from? Canadian. Yeah, are you Canadian? No. Oh. I just like Canadians. <laughs> You're yeah. like, yeah, Canadian. Yeah, I, I like was like, Canadians. aren't you from California? <laughs> I met a lot of really nice Canadians. You're like, I just like Canada, man. Yeah. Canadia. I love it. 
I grew up near Canada. Oh, you did? Michigan. Oh, okay. Oh, that's it's right. Close that's enough. right. That's yeah. pretty close. That's cold. We used to go over there when we were 18 because you could. Oh. <laughs> How was that? Yeah, you could drink at 18 when you when oh, I was a kid. Okay, so, so that's only why, in Canada. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's a good excuse. Good excuse to head over there. Julie's asking, Chris, are you inspired by Jean Girard? Yeah, Jean Girard. Yes, uh, I believe that is Mobius. Mobius. Um, yes, very much so. Um, You're like yes. <laughs> yeah, he's just kind of one of those guys that uh, was an incredible traditional illustrator, and as far as French comics go, I mean, oh, he yeah. was kind of the he he's like uh, Sid Mead as far as um, concept art in the sci-fi realm and totally. like he just everything he touched was magic so yes very much so loved his mark making uh, his color choices incredible um, yes yeah he really he always blew my mind uh well we have people joining us from all over the world so san cool. antonio amsterdam so cool. los angeles belgium kenya france that's awesome uk yeah, yeah. thanks for tuning in yeah that's rad. yeah so good oh and paul says he loves sergio topi uh i I probably have to see his art. I don't know if I know that by the name. You probably do. I'm you probably know the work. I'm more it. of like a visual uh, recognition versus names. So yeah, yeah, I'm sure I have seen that work. Yeah, ah, Germany, Chicago. Nice guys. This is great. I love yeah, seeing people really from awesome. all over the world. It's amazing. So now we're just gonna go in here. Oh wow, that just made his eyes totally different. Yeah, we can I go love ahead and that. Start pushing this stuff out. Wow. Oh. So kind of yeah these details really just make him come to life I thought he was cool before but he just keeps looking even more cool <laughs> it's there's something really it's I don't know what it satisfies in me but kind of this process that I've kind of developed yeah it, it's sometimes maybe not the most um, expressive as you're doing it. I mean, it's because it, you, you're not doing a lot of painterly strokes. Um, there's yeah, but that doesn't really matter if it's your process, right? Right. If it's working. Right, and I think <laughs> it's why I like to I like to do different types of, you know, yeah. I like to do the painterly stuff because there's, you know, it opens up a different part of you and uh, allows you to kind of be a little bit looser and, and explore uh, color a little bit more. But this, there's something very, um, methodical about this that yes, I really like. I love and it. I and I I just love the graphic nature of it. Very satisfying to watch. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, ooh, yeah, his eyes are just popping off. It's so great. Yeah, it's really fun once you start to see those shadows yeah. kind of come in. And then I think the biggest thing for me is I always imagine these becoming animated. Yeah, you're and like, so and he's when just I look like, at Ugh. it, they look like animated stills <laughs> to me. And I think that's something that totally. I probably uh, unintentionally is like I'm like constantly that's trying really to do cool. it just because I, I, I love that look so yeah. much. Well, Sammy says you're killing it. So does Anita. They love this. Awesome. Thank you. And then Ashi's curious, do you ever do you ever think that you get stuck in similar color combinations? Like, do you ever? Oh, for sure. <laughs> all the you're time. like, all the time. All the time. I'll, I have to. Um, it's definitely something I've been working on um, recently with uh, some of the stuff I've been doing with uh, Kill Paris. Um, was trying to like move away mm -hmm. from some of those new color combos. Yeah, yeah I've, it's yes, it's very easy to fall into that trap. Whether it's a trap or it's maybe not a trap, but um, yeah, it happens all the time. You, you definitely, especially once you get comfortable with kind of like your style, what you're doing, you have to kind of remind yourself to push it. Yeah, or, or get uncomfortable. You yeah, know? You, once you start, once you're too comfortable. You should probably start doing something else. Like you should. Yeah, I think that's constantly good try to push. Yeah. Yeah, get yourself out of your comfort zone so you can explore and make mistakes again. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. really it's important. So. I just see. noticed how cute his tiny little ears are. They're very cute. Yeah, it's very typical monster ear because like they can't hear. That's why they get hurt. That's right. <laughs> that's how a small man was able to kill him because he couldn't hear him yeah, coming he up didn't behind hear him. him coming. <laughs> Poor little guy. He's like, what? Yeah. Um, so sometimes too, um, like if I feel like the shadow's gonna be too harsh, just mm -hmm. doing like a full opacity salt line, I, I'll do it with the gradient as well. Nice. And I'll kind of create that same. Like I could technically do it here, I can just show you guys. If I just went and so did all this, kind of. And then it'll kind of soften it oh, a little yeah. bit. Although I kind of liked it. I yeah, but it was I'm just pretty cool. So but this you can't. Really, oh yeah, I can totally see you now. You can do it. Makes it really but nice. yeah, I just 
That it's, was really nice. You liked it? All right. I mean, it's all great. Everyone's like, oh my gosh. <laughs> like, the shadows Fana, are giving us it. such nice stuff. Let's keep it. Yes, Voodoo Val. I agree. Such nice stuff. So. Yeah, Joel's like, he's just sleeping. He's not dead. <laughs> I yeah. agree. He's, he's gonna come true. back. He's in REM right now. Yeah, That's he's like, really dude, I just happening. lost a finger. He's like, I'm gonna get back up and eat this guy. Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> yeah. He has no idea what's going on. hundred percent. All right, you guys have about four minutes for submissions to get in. Make sure that you're submitting your challenges on the challenge tab. And uh, you'll have your chance to have Chris review your work, which is awesome. Yeah. Yeah, maybe he's just drugged. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. With a giant stop sign in his head. <laughs> He's like, I'll pull it out later, I'll be fine. So a good example of where uh, a gradient would be really you know, helpful is mm -hmm. like when you have, uh, especially like long shadows being yeah. cast. Yeah, oh, it, smart. When you, if you do that as just a solid shape, it usually doesn't work very well. Yeah, so it's less it's, believable. Yeah, it just doesn't, and it doesn't really add the depth and, and give it, so you can kind of come down here. And so cool. That way you can kind of make that shadow a little more believable. Awesome. You know, and that'll. Yeah. So now when you pull it, now it kind of makes a totally. little more sense. Instead of if I just did a solid, so. It's so good. Everyone's like, this is so cool. <laughs> they love the stop sign. <laughs> yes. I too love the stop sign. <laughs> yeah. I thought it'd be We're funny. We're like, again, it grounds us. We're at Earth. <laughs> yeah, I thought it would be pretty funny. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'm actually uh, reading a really fun comic. Uh, Called Rumble. Uh huh. Um, so this is a this is a um, little shout out to that comic. Uh, nice. One of the fights is uh, he uses a stop sign to chop this <laughs> chop this guy's head off. I and, love it. You're like, what's up? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Good comic. Go read it. Mm -hmm. It's through Image Publishing. So cool. Absolutely. Oh, Louise, so... don't worry. If you didn't get to submit during this session, you'll get a chance before 2.30 p.m. today. So as long as you submit before 2.30, you will be in the running. Let's see. This part is pretty sunken back. Ooh, I like it. Um, Ooh, it makes him look so much more sinister now. I like that. Yeah, like relatively trying to yeah. go with like the guidelines of like, you know, an ape skull or something. Oh, or yeah. Something similar to that. Um, so it's always, always great to know anatomy because totally. anything you're making, um, it's most mammals have pretty similar anatomy. So once you start to understand it, you can really start to really make your own monsters and you yeah. kind of have that ability to kind of think on, uh, on your feet as you're, as you're creating it. Totally and, makes sense. Yeah, so it's, it's always great. And you can, never, you can never know enough about anatomy. Yeah. Especially uh, in the illustration world or con concept world, I would say mostly, and, and especially if you're trying to do any kind of comic books. So cool. Yeah, you, you need it. This is so great seeing that, like, yeah. and now it really looks like that too. You you can see the reality of the face and the skull and yeah, you how can kind the of skin see. Skin is kind of sinking yeah, over how it. Holding those, yeah. Those buggy eyes are being in yeah. those big eye sockets. Totally. It's kind of helping push all those values. Yeah. So he's, he's pretty funny. Wow. Remember when he was just purple? Mm -hmm. Yeah, remember that? Well, <laughs> yeah. and then you can go ahead and just, you know, it's really it's really nice just kind wow. of being able to take it off and having your flats Totally. There. He looks so cool. Oh, this is incredible to watch come to life. Okay. I'm like, what's next? <laughs> I know. Hey, Kevin, welcome back. Get that in there. Let's see. Some of the wrinkles are. He's like, I've got old crow's feet. Yeah, oh yeah, <laughs> he's bloated. Yeah. <laughs> he's been eating too much in this desolate world. Mm, too many humans. Let's see, yes. Really cool okay. to see him come to life. Okay. All right, that is the challenge submission deadline. I'm gonna give it a couple more seconds to uh, refresh and get all the challenges in here. And don't forget, if you didn't get a chance to submit this time, you have until 2.30 today, PST time, to submit, and you'll get your chance to win a subscription to Creative Cloud. Pretty awesome. good deal. Pretty awesome. Yeah. That's what I thought. So that's pretty See. lucky. Okay. Oops. 
All right. Just refresh. You need my eyes yet? I think um, I think we're ready. Yeah. Let's okay. take a look. Okay. Let me save this real quick. <laughs> Good call. You were like saving, saving. Okay. All right, so the first one we have is Joe Cook. Oh. Let's enlarge this. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. I can't tell if he's, oh yeah, he's in space. Oh yeah, he's, there's his little ship yep. right there. Oh man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he looks like he fell from something. Yeah, I really like the color choices in this one. Yeah. It's a really nice palette. And I like the small little details of where he popped red right in. Yes. Yeah, good little accents. Mm -hmm. Really, you know, kind of, Really minimalistic, yeah. only really putting in there what he needs. But again, you start to see some of the anatomy too, where you're like, oh yeah. yeah. Like his little thigh and his ankles, but it's kind of cool and truncated. <laughs> yeah, I, I think the only thing for me is like, uh, right where his shorts are or mm -hmm. whatever, I, it'd be nice to have some kind of form oh, going like, across yeah. his stomach. It almost feels like he's got chaps on. Yeah, totally, like, yeah. So, uh, yeah, I think yeah, maybe, maybe just a little continue bit, this right here. Yeah, something yeah. a little more clear right there, I think mm -hmm. would uh, would help it. Yeah, right. It does kind of look like chaps. It does like little short, <laughs> short chaps. Like, I mean, I've I don't got know. Chaps yeah. in space. Crotchless short. Chaps in space. Yeah. Oh, right. it's really cool. I really love the colors. Yeah, nice job, Joe. Yeah, nice idea. Awesome. Okay, cool. Let's check out what's next. Juan Camilo Ramirez. Let's see. I'm gonna enlarge this one. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah. Wow. I see some pointillization. Yeah. Woo. Some texture on that one. So good. I That's love it. Cool. It almost looks, it almost feels like it's flying and these are like the god rays yes. coming from the clouds, but also could totally be the, the sun coming through the surface of the water. Yeah. It's really beautiful. Yeah, it's he, really cool. I like it too, because he looks like he could be upside down. Right. And like doing a flip, but right. he also is right side up. And it definitely has a almost like print print feel like this like totally. texture like layered on top of each other. Do you remember those prints where they would make you like cross your eyes and see something subliminal? Yes. Yes, it kind of yes. reminds me of that. Right, yeah. So all all cool. those like uh, integrated patterns. Yes, yeah. and then you see the dolphins in the patterns. Yeah, and then would get Correct. really angry when you when can't you couldn't, see it. I know, you're <laughs> like, I tried crossing my eyes. This cruel joke. <laughs> yeah, Dave Matthews cover album, do you remember oh, that? No, oh, yeah, there that. was one of those, yeah. Half this the population amazing. got it, half it. Yeah, yeah, I know. This is cool. Yeah, it's really cool. Nice job, Juan. This is amazing. All right, and we have one more. This looks like Aurelia. She submitted this one earlier, but she worked on it much further now. Oh, Just yeah. adding some detail to the sweater and the hair. It's nice. I like it's nice having your palette on your artboard. And totally. Just total access. So you can just eye drop it whenever you need it. And yeah, we can get in here a little bit closer. Yeah. There's some really nice sketching detail in there. Yeah, it's definitely got like a uh, like children's book kind of yeah. vibe to it. You know, it's like it's it's really graphic, but there's some nice uh, yeah. There's like flat elements. areas and then very detailed on the face. It's yeah. like all the shading and then the hair is really cool and yeah. chunky. Yeah, it's very yeah, cool. really nice job, Aurelia. Super nice. All right, I think that was the last one. Let me just refresh to make sure. Yep, that was it. All right, All right nice All right. job, you guys. Yeah. Again, really great entries. Uh, if you didn't get a chance to enter during this session, you have a chance during Emma's session after this, and that's until 2.30. So make sure you submit, because then you have a chance to win a Creative Cloud subscription. Super. Okay. We're back to this monster. <laughs> back to this monster. Yeah, so we have about 20 minutes. Okay, yeah, yeah cool, and probably, you know, a I'm kind of just working on him because we did a lot with uh, our main character yesterday. So I just thought it'd be fun. I love to... this monster action, yeah. Yeah. We and, can do monster all day. Yeah, I'm and probably, uh, you know, when uh, tomorrow when I go in and start doing um, uh, details and kind of textures, we'll yeah. probably focus back on on and Jim, Jim and some of his leather textures that he's got. And, all right, and his so bird, did you give his bird monkey cat a name? Um, he's just Two Cat. I two don't Cat. Know. Yeah, oh, I like not, that. Not sure what. Two Cat's uh, a great name. Yeah, Two Cat. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but we'll we'll, uh, we'll we'll look at him too. We'll do some stuff for him cool. to make that fun. Maybe something on his beak or um, I don't know yet. But we can do something with him. Amazing. Uh, yeah, Anita Lima says she loves the expression in the eyes. It's so good. On this guy. Yeah. <laughs> he's just like ooh. Love that, that <laughs> dead eye look. Yeah. Hello, Stephen. Welcome. Hello, Jeremy. Yes, it is nicely done, I agree. And then I'll go ahead, I'm just gonna finish up this lip. 
and then just time sake, um, I'll do the same and I'll start, I'll create a, a kind of like my initial highlight layer. Uh -huh. And so I can just kind of show you guys, it's a pretty similar process, um, but just doing it with my highlights and a lot of this all, even with the shadow, like if I want to go darker, I'll go ahead and just create another layer on top um, and just darken it so up. So cool. Yeah, it needs it. So, let's see. <laughs> Kevin Schneider said, this is an Adobeast original illustration. Ooh, I <laughs> like it. Super good. Yeah, people are loving the broken tooth, too. Yeah, They're like, it's so real. Yeah, trademark that? Yeah, right, Adobeast. Yeah. Adobeast, let's do I it. I think Ad Kevin will. <laughs> yeah, Adobeast contest, let's yeah. do it. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, you can tell your expertise in anatomy just because the the small little details that you add in really help to show the even like the gum uh, descending and the area of pockets in the mouth and right and it's yeah man yeah, and and like I said you really can't know enough I I've taken a lot of anatomy classes and I still feel like I don't know it's anything. so cool yeah we had a really cool class at the uh, the academy it was an ecrochet class uh -huh. and you would build to scale, it was like a one, it was like a one eighth scale of uh, a human body from the skeleton out to the mus muscular no structure. No way. Yeah, so. Like in physical or in yeah, illustration? Yeah, Whoa. Yeah, so. Um, That's so cool. Yeah, I really like, I, I do a lot of sculpture as well. Oh, um, so cool. So I don't think I have any on the Behance profile right now, but I oh. will add it. Um, but I love, I love sculpture. I could imagine this being a really cool stuffed animal. Oh my gosh. Right? Yeah, let's 3D print this thing. Yeah, let's, do it. let's stuffed animal this. I bet your kid would love Somebody it. Somebody 3D model this. I mean, how cool is that? Even <laughs> if the teeth were soft and plushy, it'd be oh so cool. Oh my gosh. Cool. That'd be so much fun. Yeah. I'm into it. I think that that's like your next thing yeah. is making your illustrations into real stuffed animals. That sounds great. Who else wants one? I do. <laughs> Everyone's like, yes. Let's do it. Aurelia said, thank you for your feedback. Yes, of course. So cool. Yeah, that would be pretty rad to have these as stuffed animals. Uh, I mean, that's that's why I, that's why concept art is so cool and, yeah. and production work is seeing these things that start out just in your 100%, head, hundred percent, and then yeah. all of a sudden it's on screen, three D yeah. video. Rudy Bell like, wants one. She's like, I want one. She yeah. just wants it because it's purple. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, No, I want it because it's scary. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go ahead and just uh, we'll do a highlight later, real quick. This See? is so cool. And again, this is very much the style of, you know, like how they do animation and, and cell shading. And um, it's very similar. You just, you have, you have more options, you know, because obviously it's not going to be animated. So I can do a lot more gradients and. Uh, yes. Hello, Melinda, welcome. Uh, so it'll be a similar, similar deal. Um, and usually I'll have it a little more of like a yellow color. Mm-hmm. Just like a, a warmer light. And let's see where we can start. Kind of see if we can. Let's just kind of test it. See, Ooh. it's going to be a little. This gonna, is exciting. Let's see, we'll reduce that a lot. We'll kind of just start. So cool. Doing some highlights and see. And it might, you know. It's it's definitely something that you kind of figure it out as you go, and yeah. maybe even too with the highlight stuff, I'll uh, I'll put the pressure sensitivity on. Mm -hmm. um, it'll just kind of give me a little more options. Nice. Do you find that the pressure sensitivity is something that you like work better with when you're illustrating? Like it does uh, help too. Yeah. If I do, if I'm doing more like painterly. Uh -huh. I, I almost always have it on. It's just, it's a great way to kind of blend and yeah. like it, build up value. Yeah, um, and it gives you, like, it's kind of like you're not even on the computer after a while. You like feel the same yeah. pressure that's reminiscent of, you know, in school or something. <laughs> right. And so with like initial, this initial kind of highlight layer, like, I don't, I don't want it to pop too much yet mm -hmm. because I'll kind of save that for like a final detail. You're like, like that's the frosting tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to go in and yeah. highlight everything because it, it just it'll kind of distract you from your focal points of your of your piece. So totally. I kind of like just 
going in and doing it and just kind of having a, a subtle effect just to kind of turn those forms a little bit more Amazing. and just give a little more of a 3D, a 3D vibe, but. And it looks so cool. And again too, it's nice having these layers because if I picked a horrible color or it doesn't look good, mm -hmm. I can go ahead and change that. Yeah. So it's, it's more just me laying out this layer um, so I have more options down the line. Totally. Aloha, Dennis, thank you for joining us. Sometimes it helps nice. too to just really expand your brush a little bit and kind of get in there. That, see, that helped a lot, right, just doing that. Oh, Muhammad's in from Indonesia. Hello, oh, yeah. welcome. All right. And um, then, Alexandra, I believe this is a Wacom Cintiq. Yes, and also um, I have been using the same brush the whole time. That's so, awesome. Yeah, I, it's pretty versatile. Yeah, you know? like I, I like the kind of like default round brush. And, I and love that. I'll, You're like again caveman, caveman yeah, nomadic ways. Yeah, exactly. It's kind of nice to do it uh, this way at first, and then you know it, I kind of build my values up, build my color up, and then when I kind of know where I want to start adding that texture. Then mm -hmm. I can start looking for different brushes, photographic textures, so things like that. Wild. But this, it just, this kind of like, I'm almost holding my own hand as I'm moving through this process. I love it. <laughs> sometimes I'm, I'm not sure, you know, like You're how like, it's going to end up. Yeah, so <laughs> it's just, it's kind of, it allows, it, it gives me a little bit of time to kind of see what's happening in the piece. Oh, it, the monster is really so. coming to life with those highlights. It's so rad to see his. Yeah, like, and so now you're starting yeah. to see like, okay, what if we start applying this to the entire yeah. piece? We're the really folds gonna. The of the skin and his shiny little warts on his head. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot of push and pull. <laughs> yeah. Um, by the end of it, which is it really is going to give a lot of life to this guy. Well, I agree with Joel. He says he likes watching people truly enjoy the process of creating. I do yes. too. This is awesome. It's really yeah, and it's great. It's I, I love uh, playing tutorials and stuff uh, just in the background, even if I can't watch yeah, it. Yeah, just to listen. Well, it's really great just hearing people talk about the process, mm -hmm. and also you'll you'll pick up techniques or, or shortcuts totally. as they're talking, and it's kind of nice. Um, yeah. And you usually end up finding out a lot about that artist or how they got to what they're doing. Mm -hmm. I think that helps a lot. Yeah, just so, to hear like their inspirations and backgrounds. And yeah, because uh, you know, making art as a living is not easy, um, and it takes a lot of hard work and perseverance. Totally and persistence too. Yeah, yeah, persistence. You're like gotta stick with gotta it. Gotta be consistent, <laughs> you know. And yeah. uh, you can't. You just you gotta put in the hours. You you just. Yeah. Hard work beats talent. It's every true. Time. It's true. Every time. Every like, time. It's just you can't you can yeah. have talent and you can do great and if you combine that with hard work, it's even then you'll better. Be, yeah, then you'll 100%. be on top. But even if you're not the most talented person, the the beauty of art and illustration is like if you practice enough, practice. you'll get good. Exactly. I mean, I remember watching people in school where I was like, oh my god, they can't even draw a stick figure, and then four years later, they're, they're doing these gorgeous figure drawings. I'm like, that's. That's awesome. hundred percent, yeah. So Showing up and being present for it is like half of it. <laughs> yeah, it's a really, yeah, it's 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 a great feeling. Too. Yeah, I think that's great advice. It is all about practice. Well, we've got a lot of new people in chat just showing up now. Oh, awesome. Probably some shifts changed. Armida, William, Andre is back, Sergio, Kevin, Joel, Eric Sue. Yeah, awesome, welcome awesome. guys, yeah. this is amazing. Um, thank you for joining us, and for those of you who are just jumping in, we are live right now with Chris Blackstock, and he is illustrating this amazingly gory monster that's been killed by a stop sign impalement. Yes. Um, so it's pretty awesome. Today he's been adding color and detail, and then tomorrow is like fine details. Yeah, fine details, uh, really finding where our focal point is and how much we want to like pop that out because yeah. in the end I might you know I might do all this stuff and then I might go with another layer on top oh just to like desaturate and I might, it or yeah I might take a, I might take a whole gradient and push it over and then mess with the transparencies or the hues to to even push it even more yeah so you know it's kind of like if you were acrylic or, or oil painted it'd be a glaze mm. so it. I'll usually just do this so that I have all the fundamentals there that the shapes are there and then I can start making those final decisions towards so towards cool that. Matt Crawford's like dude very nice yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Hello, Katya. Welcome. She says, this illustration is awesome. Cool, cool. 
Well, and I'm, I'm hoping at the end of this, uh, I can have it ready for download. I don't know how that works, but so cool. Yeah. So you guys can download it. Uh, well, yeah, if you put it up on your Behance profile, yeah. you'll get everyone to go there and perfect. download yeah, it. Yeah, you can that download it as a desktop background. So that's kind of the, the whole point wait. of this, and you guys can Kevin's wake up to this guy every day. Will you add in the background a foreground or like a, a whole background area tomorrow? Um, or are you going to keep it white? I'm probably gonna keep it white. Um, I was thinking about it, uh -huh. but I kind of, especially because it's a desktop. Um, it's it's possible that I could either make it really dark, uh -huh. and uh, I could might might go all black or uh, dark yeah. navy blue or something, or I might keep it white and uh, have when I do the the little smokestacks and fissures, it'll it'll oh, have it'll these little start to like yeah, yeah. I might have these little hints of the ground. Mm -hmm. So I mean, I want to keep it grounded. So it's just I'm not. That's not there just yet. Like, I, don't I haven't know decided yet. yet. We I, don't know. That's what tomorrow holds. Now you'll have to come back and see. Yeah, but That's I right. do. I do really love uh, that contrast. Way to hook them. Yeah. <laughs> You're like I don't know. <laughs> Tune in to find out. <laughs> love it. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Yeah, uh, Katya says she thinks it looks cool without any background. Yeah, I, I like how it, it's kind of standing out right now. It's, it's <laughs> then again, nice. Kefas is like, I want to see what environment they're in. I'm so curious. I know. I know, me too. I'm like, I want more. It's like watching a movie and then it ends and you're like, I want to see what they're doing now. Yeah, what's going on? <laughs> yeah, now what are they up to? Well, if this guy's super cool, I mean, that's the great thing too is like as you're, you're kind of designing these characters, you're, you know, sometimes you strike gold and you're like, I want to do this one again. Yeah. And so then you start to build a story and it's like, okay, what's it going to be doing next? Right. Or what, what happened before the monster died? Yeah, I think you know, that's... What was he doing? What, you know, what was his world like? Pretty brilliant, too, because then you can create a whole series like your deserters. Yeah, you know? yeah, totally. So. And plush kinda... toys, which we all want one. Yes. <laughs> it's just oh, so cool to see the gum line around his teeth. He's like, ugh, it's just coming to life. So, and I'm being pretty loose. Um, I feel like I don't need to be too tight at this point for a lot of this stuff. Um, looks tight to me. <laughs> yeah, Everyone's for like, me, this looks really good. I know, for me, I'm like, oh, it's not too tight. You're like, ah, oh, no I was like, jeez, man, let go a little bit. <laughs> no, this is awesome. So. Well, this is great. Well, we have about a little less than 10 minutes. Okay. So definitely ask your questions for Chris. Whatever you're as curious and what's on your mind, let us know. Ah, Kathleen's asking, do the monsters have family? I mean... They had to procreate at some point. <laughs> I'm sure there's a family out there of them. They're like, maybe. Yeah, wandering around, grunting at each other. Yeah, right? <laughs> eating, eating poor animals. It's super Coming funny. out of their, their <laughs> caves. Yeah. Oh, uh, thanks for joining us, William. Glad you had fun. So, it's pretty, I think it's pretty cool so far. Yeah, Eric Sue's yeah. like, it's pretty tight for me, too. <laughs> Agreed. I'm like, yes, yeah, it's pretty detailed. I know, yeah, it's... It's uh, it's funny. I uh, my wife's kind of my uh, discerning eye mm -hmm. for when I'm getting too close to it. And, yeah, uh, she's, she's like you're in it. Oh, that's one of the things. She's like, you always put in so much detail. <laughs> so <laughs> so I was like, funny. Pull back a little. Is she an illustrator or designer uh, as well? She she's done uh, design and and uh, visuals and stuff. So she Got has it. she has so a great she... she has a great eye for color. Yeah. And, and design. So I usually kind of defer to her as. Uh, Kind of like what you know. You're like, do I stop or do I keep going? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. When I get stuck, she's she's a great great writer. Oh, that's point. great to have a good resource close by. Yeah, she puts up with all my my BS. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, Ionis is asking, do you create a backstory for your monsters and characters? Um, I always do. I mean, that's I think that's the whole thing with illustration too. Is like you're constantly building a story. Yeah. Um, because the elements you're adding. You want to, you want that to add to the narrative, so you don't want to just add random things. I mean, you can, you totally can. That's fun too. But <laughs> sometimes it is because like, okay, I'm going to add this random thing. It's like, how is that random thing now being integrated in right? the story? Right. Like, what's you the know? purpose of it? Yeah. So I think it, it depends. Sometimes it's really thought out. Sometimes it's not. Like, I mean, this monster was just like, I want to do some like big, weird like ape gator. Yeah. You know, and have him come into this like, because at first I didn't even have him at all. Yeah. So uh, I just decided that it'd be like a cool element. I like that he's there. Yeah, I think it makes it a lot more fun um, having that, so. Yeah, I know that chat is expressing excitement about the photo textures that will be awesome tomorrow and they can't wait. Yes, I am also very excited about that. So it's, it's something that I kind of been doing 
more recently that uh, I didn't really do before. So um, that's so cool. Yeah, it makes it really um, unique to you. I think having those textures also unique to the deserters. Yeah. Yeah, so it's it's really cool and fun, and Ooh. this is kind of just doing some. Are we resting this up. Yeah, just just a little bit, you know. Yeah, just had just some a time. Rest, yeah. just had some time. No big deal. Uh, in the sun and the water <laughs> and the moisture and all of that good stuff. So, so cool. It's gonna be some wear and tear, and kind of just get some some bigger elements there. Uh, Dave Goodman saying, I'm sure you've talked about this already, but do you have a palette figured out, or do you go freestyle? I'm pretty freestyle. Yeah. Word. Like I said, I'm, I'm very like in the moment with color. Yeah. I'm. You're like it's in my head. Oh my gosh, I'm always like. I'm You're like, like until my wife says you use that palette. But it's so funny because <laughs> I'm always just like, how do people pick these colors? Like, so, I. I love there's it. There's some incredible colorists out there, and like I, I just feel like I'm, I just try to do my best. I, I know that. I love this color palette. It's not a palette that I've used. But yeah, I think I just try to play it by ear and and. Uh, if I feel like it's working, uh, great. And if not, I'll, I'll kind of try to establish what's wrong with it, mm -hmm. um, and then go from there. So this you know, cool. that's the great thing about digital is it's really easy to change that kind of stuff. And now that I learned Command U, oh right, thanks out it there, just Command the U, hue of the selection. I know, right? I You're like, my, I do what I want. That blew my mind. Yeah, right. I have to thank that Caveman person. Caveman just stepped up a bit. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I was like, oh my god. You're like, Command U. What is that? I need more people teaching me stuff. You're like, oh, yeah. and you. Mm, yes. Mm. <laughs> this is great. Yeah. Uh. Okay, let's see. So, this little rest in there, I'm sure, too. And those so creases. Fun. And that's what's nice with that pressure, because you can really, yeah. you can kind of easily adjust these things. And so good. It allows you to kind of render some textures pretty quickly. Yeah. That, um, could normally take a while if you didn't didn't have it like this. I you'd love be, the shadow be, of the fold. It's so, like really coming to life. Yeah, and so it's it's really cool. It's really cool. Uh, I, I kind of I just love this little. Mm -hmm. I think it's just it's it's. I think it adds pressure sensitivity. Yeah. No matter what the default setting is of the brush, right? Yeah. I think that's it's yeah, amazing. So it's really cool. Oh, this is so great. Well, we have a couple minutes left, so this is pretty awesome to see how everything is coming. Like, wow, that stop sign just looks so much more real. Yeah, and so I'm pretty much going to be doing everything that I just did to this monster's face. Uh -huh. um, and and that's, I'm going to basically do that across the entire piece. Um, oh, it's going to be so cool. By the time cool. we meet back tomorrow. Um, and so, and then after that, I'll really, that's when I'll, I'll do all the... Uh, the final oh, highlights and then so go wild. over the, the photographic textures and stuff. And so maybe in this last two minutes you could wrap up by showing us the very beginning, what you started with yesterday. Oh, and uh, then, just like show where we, yeah, where we started? Yeah, show where we started just so totally. that people who have just joined in chat yes. and then they can see the progress as well as... That is also cool without that. I know, it's so wild. Okay, so when we started, this is so wild. This is just what this is what we started with um, with our sketch. <gasps> so cool. So that's what we were able to get to yesterday, um, and then I went ahead and uh, I went ahead. I think and, I had a little fun. Yeah, and so as you see, we still haven't worked on our smoke yet. That's gonna also so cool happen. Um, so that's what I did uh, over that, and then also started laying in color. And then uh, so incredible. went ahead and take it. There we go. There it is. Oh, and on all the details. Wow. Yeah. So we still got a ways to go. But it's really come together, though. Yeah. Hope you guys have been enjoying it. Again, like today, Eric Sue yeah. said, it's pretty tight. <laughs> 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 yes. Thank you so much, Chris. This has been such an eventful day, just seeing everything come yeah. together. It's insane. Yeah. Um, yeah, um, for those of you who it. had some questions late in the chat, don't forget, come back tomorrow and Chris will be here. Up next is Emmy and Kathleen, so stick with us. All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys.